Special thanks to Patreon supporter Godzilla King of the Monsters for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the M9 Armored Combat Earth Mover, also known by the abbreviation of ACE. The M9 is a highly mobile armed tracked vehicle that provides combat engineering support to frontline forces. Fueled by the United States Army, its tasks include eliminating enemy art obstacles, maintenance and repair of roads and supply routes, and construction of fighting positions. So yeah, a pretty interesting little vehicle here. Um, it's pretty much just a armored bulldozer. It's really the general kind of sense that you get from this vehicle. Um, it's pretty cool in the sense that it has the plow in the front, but it also kind of works as a grader in a way to where it actually can scoop dirt into the front uh, kind of container area, which we'll show here in a sec, and can actually, you know, move and dump that dirt out. So it has a couple different features like a bulldozer and a grader, um, which is pretty cool. And Maybe we'll make it a pretty cool combat engineering vehicle. We don't have too many of these, so kind of fun to uh, throw another one in the mi mix and was actually a pretty interesting and a little bit of a different build for me to do. Uh, before we go ahead and jump in, jump in to take a look at the vehicle, I want to go and give special links to Patreon supporter Godzilla King of the Monsters for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. Where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request you're choosing. Um, it supports the work I do on my channel and you earn the cool benefit of having a vehicle request you're choosing. Um, every month uh, that you are a patron. So definitely check that out. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. But anyways, let's go ahead and kind of dive into taking a look here at the M9 Armored Combat Earth Mother. So uh, to begin with, we have obviously the front plow up here in the front, which is very reminiscent of a bulldozer. It does have basically um, the plow can actually kind of angle itself forward a little bit and actually allow dirt to kind of be drug in and brought in here. So very similar to that of like a grater. Uh, we have the uh, viewports here for the driver. Um, smoke grenade dispensers is the only real defensive capability of this um, vehicle. So some smoke grenade dispensers located right here. Uh, all the hydraulic systems and everything like that for the front here, the plow, and also to be able to dump out the dirt in the front. Uh, as we work our way back, we have basically more of just the equipment, most likely the engine located right here, the um, kind of pod that the operator sits in, and just some of the back detail and stuff like that back here. Um, overall, pretty nice looking vehicle, I think. You're going to make an awesome addition to any of your uh, military type scenarios and uh, kind of doing some uh, combat engineering type scenarios. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so moving into our first layer, we have layer number one. For layer one, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down eight dark liquid stair like this, and then we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five um, over from that, so you have a row of six in total. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and go to the fronts here of uh, each one of these stairs on the sides here. You're going to place down a dark liquid sign coming off the faces of the stairs. We're also going to go ahead and grab a zombie head and place down a zombie head on the sides here of the stairs like so. After that's done, we want to go and then take our dark liquid top slabs. We're going to place down a row of five across, or sorry, row of six across those stairs across the back. We then want to go and do a row of four of top slabs across the center here. When we get to this section here, uh, we're going to place down a dark liquid trapdoor on this block right here and open up toward the rear. And same thing over here, just like that. We then want to place down three rows of four again of dark oak top subs going back. So just like this along the side here. We're going to place down a black stroker box on its side like this, two both sides, a dark oak button, item frame, and then a green stained glass pane in the item frame. One thing to note, if you are on console versions or bedrock in general, uh, you will not be able to place that dark oak button uh, in the item frame in the same block space. If that's the case, just place down the item frame instead. Uh, we're going to go then place down two polished black stone stairs, back to back, on the side here, and we're going to come back to those a little bit later. After we get to this point, we're going to take our dark oak top slabs, we're going to do four more rows of four, so we have one, two, three, and four. At this point here, we're going to place down a dark oak trap door to both sides, a black uh, shulker box on its side, to the side like that, and then two polished black stone stairs, back to back here, toward the rear like that. Again, on this black shulker box here, we're going to place down a dark oak button, item frame, and green st uh, stained glass if we can. And, of course, same thing over here on this side as well. Now, after we get to this point, we want to go and then place down another brick, upside down stair, coming off this polished black stone stair to both sides. 
And in the space in between those stairs, we're going to place our row four Dark Oka Top Slabs, followed by a second row four going back. We're going to go and also take our Dark Oka Trap Doors and place down a row of four of Dark Oka Trap Doors across the back there as well. Now, once we have that all done, that's going to basically do it there for our base layer. One thing that we're also going to be doing here is to be going ahead and making some banners, which will kind of spruce up these wheels a little bit and make them look a little bit um, more like the uh, wheels and kind of show the more accurate spacing of what we're trying to get here with these with this design. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab my materials real quick and I'm going to show you guys how to make these banners. Alright guys, so to make these banners, it's really simple. All we're going to be doing is grabbing ourselves some black dye, some green banners, and... Um, a loom. So we have four black dye, two green banners, and our loom. Now to make these, we're going to go, and go into our loom here. We're going to go and place our green banners into our loom and our black dye. For our first uh, banner here, we're going to go do a line of black dye on the left side, like this. And actually, sorry, it's going to be the split in center, so just like that. And we're going to go ahead and then grab that banner. We're going to go ahead and do the opposite side. So this time, we're going to do the black on the right side here for this banner. At this point here, we're going to go and put each one of our banners back into our loom, and we want to go and very simply just place down a line across the center just like this for each of our banners and now all we need to do here is to go ahead and go to our stairs here and we're going to place down our banners facing that direction like so so you want the green portions facing toward each other and in doing so you kind of create a nicer type of wheel design for uh, the tracks there and that right there will be done to both sides there and that's all you need to do and with that that's going to complete layer one for our build and with that let's go ahead and move into our next layer layer number two all right guys moving into our next layer we have layer number Two. For layer 2 to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down a monster cobblestone wall on top of these two dark oaken stairs up both sides. In the space between those walls, we're going to place down a row of four of like, or of, sorry, just green stained glass panes. And then going back to the sides here, we're going to place down a monster cobblestone wall to both sides. We then want to go ahead and place down a block coming off this monster cobblestone wall, so the second one back. And we're going to go then grab ourselves a zombie head and come place out a zombie head coming off that block. And it's going to be the same thing there to both sides. We can then go ahead and delete this block and we have this floating zombie head out to the side there, like so. Once that's done, go ahead and continue to work our way back. We're going to place down a green terracotta block here to both sides and then a tripwire hook coming off the sides of those blocks, like so. And also across this section here, we're going to place down four dark oak trap doors closed up like that. We then want to go ahead and go next to these green terracotta blocks here and on both sides we're going to place down a dark oak stair. After we get to this point, we're going to place down a green terracotta block. Again, to both sides here, a dark oak sign, or sorry, dark oak trap door on the sides. And we want to go and then place down a green terracotta block going back from those stairs. We're going to go and then place down a dark oak upside down stair to the sides here with a dark oak sign on the side of it, like so. And then a green terracotta block on both sides of those stairs. After we have that done, we're going to then place down <clears throat> another brick uh, slab going back from the stair. So like this to both sides, and then a green terracotta block here in the center. And we then want to go ahead and just grab ourselves some mossy cobblestone walls and place down a row two across it between them. We're going to then take our narrow brick slabs, we're going to go back one, two, and one, two. And we're going to go ahead and then place down another brick stair. Like so. And we're going to then place down another brick top slab. On the inside here, we're just going to go ahead and take our green terracotta, and we're just going to fill this in between our narrow brick slabs and stairs with green rows of four green terracotta to close that space off. We get to this section here, we're going to place down a narrow row of four green terracotta that sticks out past those narrow brick top slabs. We then want to go and grab ourselves a green shulker box, place it down on the sides here, place a item frame on the sides of the shulker box, a cobweb in those item frames, and we're going to go and then place down a dark oak button on the sides of those shulker boxes as well. After that's all complete, we want to go and then take our green terracotta, and we're going to place down a row of four green terracotta across, a dark oak top slab to both sides, and a dark oak sign here on the sides of those top slabs. Once that's complete there, we want to go and then place down a dark oak top slab again on the sides here, a dark oak trap door coming off the side of the slab, a dark oak sign coming off the sides of the slab, and we also want to go and place down an item frame on those two slabs with a orange uh, concrete block in those item frames. Again, if you're on bedrock version, you will not be able to place the signs over the item frames. If that's the case, just place the item frames down instead. Now we get to this portion right here, we're going to go and take our green terracotta and place our row of four across between those slabs. When we get to this section here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head. We're going to place down one right here, one coming off it to the side. We're going to then delete the first one here and then place down another one like that to the side. Behind these item frames on these two blocks, if you can, we're going to place down item frames 
and in those lighting frames are to place down black beds rotate on their sides so the pillows are facing toward each other like so after that we want to go and then take our item frames and again to the sides here we're going to place down an item frame to both sides black beds in those item frames rotate to the side and again if you're able to we're going to place down a trip bar hook coming off those um, blocks as well in the same space as the item frames and with that all complete there that is going to wrap up what we have for layer number two for the build and with that let's go ahead and move into layer number three all right guys moving into our next layer we have layer number three for layer three to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of these mossy cobblestone walls here to both sides coming off those mossy cobblestone walls or sorry the green terracotta blocks rather we're going to place down a dark oak with upside down stair dark oak with sign coming off the front of the stair and then a zombie head on the side of the stairs as well once that's done, we're going to then take our dark oak stairs. We're going to place down a row of four of upside down stairs across between those stairs, just like that. And then on the back here, we're going to go take our dark oak with trap doors and do the same thing with a row of four that we did for the previous layer. Once we get to this point, we're going to go and place down a green terracotta block again to both sides and then a another green terracotta block back. We're going to place down an item frame here on the side, green terracotta block, and a dark oak sign. Same thing over here, item frame, green terracotta block, and a dark oak sorry. Once we get to this point, we're going to then place down a dark oak wood fence keep to both sides here. And after that, we're going to then place down a monster cobbles on the wall to both sides as well. We then want to place down a dark oak sign on the side here of this wall. So just like that to both sides. And on the inside here, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three dark oak trap doors, which are going to be opened up uh, to kind of be like that. Uh, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then take our green terracotta and we're going to do a row of six across with a dark oak trapdoor on both sides. We're going to go and do the same row again, so another row of six across and another dark oak trapdoor to both sides. We're going to go and do the same thing again. Um, this time, however, after our row of six, we're going to place down a dark oak button on both ends, like that. And once we get to this row here, we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls in the center and then two green terracotta blocks out to both sides. Uh, once we get to this point, uh, we want, then want to go ahead and take our green terracotta. We're going to do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then a row of six all the way across the back here. Now on the sides here as well, we're going to go and take our dark oak buttons. We're going to place down one, two, and three, and same thing over here, one, two, three. On the very back here, we're going to go and take our dark oak trap doors, place down a row of six across the back here. And after we have that all done, um, that's going to basically do it for what we have here for this layer. So uh, that right there is going to basically do it, uh, just making sure there isn't anything I missed and everything seems to be a go. So that right there is going to complete layer number three for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, we're going to start off with placing down a dark oak slab on top of these two stairs, and we're going to then place down an item frame coming off those slabs with a white bend in those item frames, and we want to rotate them around to be on their sides like that with the pillows facing toward the insides. We're going to then place down a dark oak sign over those item frames if we can. We're going to then take our dark oak buttons, place down a row of four across between those slabs, and then going ahead and going back from the slabs here, we're going to place down a dark oak trap door to both sides, followed by a daylight detector, a dark oak slab again and make sure that if the trap doors do get activated by the daylight detector that you do close them back up. Um, after that we want to go and then place down a end rod going back from these two slabs like that and we're going to then place down a zombie head which is going to be on top of this mossy cobblestone wall with the face facing toward the end rod. With that complete we're going to take a green terracotta we're going to place down a row of six across that space right there. Over here to the right side of the vehicle, over here, we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls. And to the other side here, we're actually going to replace these two green terracotta blocks here with two dark oak stairs. Coming off those stairs, we're going to place down item frames. And in those item frames, we want to go ahead and place down black beds, rotated so that the pillow is facing downwards. And like that for each item frame. And if we're able to, we're going to place down a dark oak sign also on the front stair of those stairs. Once we have that done, uh, we want to go and then go to the sides here. We're going to place down a dark oak fence gate to both sides. We're going to go and then place down an item frame coming off that fence gate. And we want to go and then place down a snowball in those uh, item frames like that to make these uh, little lights on the side there. Once we get to this point, we're going to take a green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of six all the way across here. And we're going to have a dark oak trapdoor on both sides. 
Once we have that done there, we want to go and do another row of six across. So now row six going all the way across here and again a dark trap trapdoor on both ends. Now we get to this point right here, um, it is going to be a little bit different. So for this what we're going to do is we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this one. Then two green terracotta blocks over to the right side with ladders on those blocks. And then we're going to place down one more green terracotta block and this one's going to have a dark oak trapdoor on this side like so. Over to the opposite side, we're just going to take a green terracotta, place down two blocks over, and a dark oak trapdoor. Now on the right side here, we're going to then take a green terracotta, we're going to go back one, two, three blocks, and then a dark oak sign, or dark oak trapdoor. Then we want to go ahead and take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a block right here. And we, actually sorry, it's going to be a spruce wood block, followed by a second spruce wood block next to it. And on those two spruce wood blocks, we're going to have two stone buttons. So one, two. And we're going to go then take a green terracotta and go one, two, three over to the side. We then just want to go and take a green terracotta, place down one, two here. And we're going to place down dark oak trapdoor on this one right here. And on the inside here, uh, we're going to take our stone pressure plates. And we just want to place down a row of two, or sorry, basically two by two square here of pressure plates on the floor. And we're also going to take our green terracotta and place down a row of two in this spot right here as well. And that's basically all we have for the inside there. Um, there will be two stone buttons here on these blocks like that. But other than that, that's all we have to do on the inside there. Uh, go ahead and go into the back here. A few things to do. Uh, we're going to go and place down two polished black stone walls on these two green terracotta blocks to the side here and place down an item frame in that item frame we're going to go and place down a white bed rotate on side and we're going to go and then place down a dark oak sign in the item frame or on the same block as the item frame just like that to the left side now you also have the option of putting the unit number on the side of the vehicle for me i just went with 81 uh, two easy numbers to make with banners uh, I'm not going to show you guys exactly how to make the numbered banners, but just know this is where they go. You can do a two-digit number and make whatever number you guys want. Um, and uh, there are plenty of tutorials if you are confused on how to make letter banners um, that are available on YouTube. So all you got to do is give it a quick search and you'll be able to find plenty of tutorials for those. Uh, but anyways, that's all we have for layer number four. And with that, we'll go ahead and probably move into our final layers here uh, of the build. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our final layers here, we have layers 5 through 10. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go, ahead and go to this uh, mossy cobblestone wall here. We're going to place down a polished black stone brick slab on it. We then want to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off that slab like so. We're going to go then go to both sides of the slab and over this space right here, we're going to go and place down a wither skeleton skull, which is going to be at a slight angle like so. And same thing over here on this wall as well, a wither skeleton skull at a slight angle. And that's going to be your smoke grenade dispenser. Starting on the right side here, we're going to place down three dark oakwood slabs across, followed by a row of three of dark oak, or green shulker boxes, and then another row of three green shulker boxes. On the first row here, we're going to place down dark oakwood buttons on top. After that, we're going to go and then take our green shulker boxes. We're going to place down another row of two here. And we want to go and then place down dark oak trap doors on the sides of these shulker boxes like this toward the rear. On the top of this shulker box here, we're going to place down a dark oakwood button, and if you are able to, we're going to go ahead and also place down an item frame on top of this block with a green terracotta block in that item frame. We're going to go then place down a mossy cobblestone wall to the corner space like this, and then a wither skeleton skull coming off the side of that mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to go then place down a dark oakwood slab back. After that, we want to go then grab a dark oakwood stair. We're going to place down a dark oakwood stair like this, and a second stair going back from it. So you have a corner stair, regular stair, and then we're going to place down two dark oak signs on the sides of those stairs. And then also a sign on this side as well. On the side here of the stair, we're going to place down an item frame, and if we can, place down a red bed. Um, again, if you cannot do this, just go ahead and place down the item frame instead of the sign. After we have that done, uh, we're going to then take our spruce wood. We're going to place down two spruce wood blocks across like this. We're going to go and grab a tripwire hook and place down a tripwire hook coming off this block here. On both sides there for basically the the uh, latch to open the door and we want to go and then place down two green terracotta blocks over a dark oak stair like this corner stair slab and we're going to basically do the same exact thing we did on the other side so sign on the corner stair sign right here on this stair item frame with a red bed in the item frame we want the pillow facing toward the outsides and then a dark oak sign on the side of the stair if we can and then once we get to this point here, uh, we're going to basically start working on our right side here. So for our right side, we're going to place down a dark oak stair here in the middle. 
or, sorry, left side actually. And then a dark oakweed corner stair to both sides of that stair. We also want to place down a dark oakweed trapdoor on top of this green terracotta block right here. Now going back from this, we're going to place down a green terracotta block here in the center. Then one and two, mossy cobblestone walls on the right side. And then a narrow green terracotta block like that. Over here on the left side, we want to go ahead and place down a dark oakwood stair like this, and then a dark oakwood corner stair. And we then want to go ahead and grab a dark oakwood uh, trapdoor, place it here, a mossy cobblestone wall, and on top of that mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull like that. Um, after that, for the uh, cupola up here, for the operator, we're going to place down a spruce wood slab on top of this block right here. We then want to go ahead and take zombie heads, and we're going to place down zombie heads on top of these stairs. So on top of the stairs and the mossy cobblestone walls to the sides here. And then on the corner stairs here, we're going to place down a zombie head at a 45 degree angle. Same thing on the back here as well. Just like that. And then this space between these zombie heads here, we're just going to place down an end rod across. Last thing for us to do is to go ahead and do the back here. And for this, all we're going to do is place down a dark oak grid fence post on top of this green terracotta block. And we want to go ahead and go up from the fence post. One, two three and four iron bars up for the radio antenna and then green carpet on top of this green terracotta block and on top of these two strips spruce wood logs and with that all complete there that is going to wrap up my design here for the m9 armored combat earth mover hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put good use if you do not abuse this build i do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it this can be thing from a sign of the build tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media channels as long as you guys give me proper credit for the build you're free to use the favorite project you guys are working on overall enjoy the build have fun fit and all that fun stuff uh, but yeah, with that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204 and I'll see you guys next time.